Welcome home, warriors. This is the missus reaching out to you today with advice, stories, tips, and tricks to help get you through. My name is Abby, and today I am very excited to be talking to you about my experience with breast prosthetics. For those of you that have not watched my first video, uh, I shared I am a breast cancer survivor. It's been almost two years since I had my bilateral mastectomy. And after that surgery, you are offered what are called uh, breast prosthetics or medical devices or products that resemble uh, real breasts for use after your body changes from a breasted body to a flat body post-surgically. Uh, so today I'm going to be uh, talking about my story, how I became flat, uh, the prosthetics I'm aware of and that I was given and then how they feel on my body and actually how they look on my body. I'm gonna be showing you my flat chest. But before we begin, um, I wanted to issue some warnings and disclaimers. Uh, I am not, first of all, I'm not a certified mastectomy fitter, nor am I a breast surgeon. I'm not a medical professional in any capacity. So if you are in need of qualified professional advice, please reach out to a professional. Uh, second, I, the, any of the personalities or brands or products that I reference here or in the description box I am not related to or affiliated with in any way. They're simply resources that I find personally helpful. Uh, so let's get to work. Let's begin. So uh, like I said, I'm a breast cancer survivor. It's been almost two years since I had what's called a bilateral mastectomy or removal of breast tissue on both sides of the chest, both breasts also called a double mastectomy. You can also have what's called a unilateral mastectomy, which is removal of breast tissue on one side. I had a bilateral following the discovery of a uh, very small cancer. I caught it early, but for my treatment option, I chose to have a bilateral mastectomy. So that rendered me completely flat on both sides. So first of all, what I'd like to do is show you what my flat chest looks like without the application of any prostheses. So I'm gonna take my shirt off and show you now. I wear no bra product whatsoever in my flat life under my clothing. So I'll stand up now and show you what my scars look like. This is what a bilateral mastectomy looks like on me. I have a scar on my right side, which is incidentally also where the cancer was discovered. And I have a scar on my left side, which is where I had healthy breast tissue. Both sides were removed. The scars are kind of pink. Uh, they're soft to the touch. And as you can see, aside from a few lumps and bumps on my tissue, I am for all intents and purposes completely flat, especially when I show you in my profile. I am flat as a board, especially under clothing, which I'll uh, put my shirt back on in a moment, but I just wanted you to see what this tissue field looks like without any prosthetics or bras on it first. I should also mention that uh, post-surgically, I'm now recovered almost two years. This tissue has changed a lot. Uh, it went from periods of almost complete num numbness to periods of high, high sensitivity while I was recovering and nerve fibers were regrowing. Uh, right now, what I can say is that I have a kind of a mixture of high, high sensitivity and then uh, practically complete numbness in other areas. So it's the tissue itself in this general area is a mixture of numbness and sensitivity kind of more sensitive here, um, whereas this area of tissue um, next to my armpit is almost completely numb. So I think that's worth mentioning, especially when you are experiencing prostheses and getting fitted for prostheses, is that none of the products I show you or mention here today will feel like your bra did when you had when you, are, when you were a breasted person, when you had normal breast tissue here. So 
Um, the first product I'd like to show you is called, I'm gonna get my shirt back on first so we can chat. Um, the first product that I'd like to show you was covered by my insurance completely. I paid nothing. It is a breast prosthetic. It is a medical device uh, manufactured by a company. And it is called an ABC breast form. Here's the box that it came in. It says ABC on the front. And the it's, it's got very lovely pink color feminine styling right from the outset, even before you look at the product. And here's the style, color, size, and so forth, the name of the product. When you open the box, inside you'll find a carrying case or a storage case. I say carrying because it has a handle. Um, you can take it with you wherever you're going. And the, the material itself of the storage case feels very much like a makeup bag. Um, it's very sturdy and very soft and pliable. Inside, it's a zippered case. Inside, along with my care instructions, you'll notice that this is a supposedly a handcrafted product and the artisan or, or the, the craftswoman, her name is handwritten on the back. So it's, I suppose it's as personal as a medical device can be. Um, and the company goes to great lengths to let you know that your product was handmade by your artisan. So this is the product itself. This is a breast form. I'm going to squeeze it and feel it here simply to show you the texture and what it looks like. So it's my, it matches my flesh tone approximately. I'm very fair. But to my knowledge, they come in a variety of different colors for your selection. It's a very squishy relatively weighty product. I mean, as I'm holding it in my hand, it's very reminiscent of what I remember breasts feeling like. It's got a bit of a weight to it. It's squishy and the form itself has that kind of conical classic breast shape. And if you can even see, there's a little bit of a raised portion here that is supposed to give an idea of a nipple. Um, it's obviously, especially under clothing. So this form is inserted right into your bra, your generally a mastectomy bra. And I'm gonna show you my products in a minute. But what happened when, I'm gonna replace it back in its case for a moment. Uh, what happened when I went for my fitting was that uh, my fitter, and, and these people have to be certified, they are professionals in this area of sales and uh, medical devices. My fitter was based out of a medical supply store. So this is a store where you can find um, all different types of medical devices for other issues. Um, but the fitting room itself was a very intimate, private um, space in the back of the store where I could go and have a very intimate, private, one-on-one -on -one conversation and experience with my fitter. So the bra fitting went very much like what I remember a bra fitting going like when I had breasts. There was measuring tape involved, certain parts of my chest and my body were measured. Um, I was offered a variety of uh, breast, uh, excuse me, uh, bra products in which to put my prostheses that look very much like normal bras that you might find at a retailer like a Kohl's or a Target or another department situation. Uh, and I was also given um, a very much narrower choice of breast products themselves, either relatively light or relatively heavy, like I just showed you here that I selected. So without further ado, here is my bra. As you can see, it looks very much like a product you might find at retail if you are a breasted person looking for a bra. It's got the cups with fancy fabric detailing the adjustable straps, hook and eye closure, and the material is 
the exact material that I would expect in a normal bra product. Uh, the only difference, if you're looking really closely, is that these cups have pockets for exactly what you would think they would be for. They are for inserting your prosthesis and then they have this nice fabric backing so that it feels breathable and more comfortable against your skin. You're not placing your chest in contact directly with the prosthetic. So I'm gonna show you now what this bra looks like on my body. First, I'm going to place both prostheses in the back like this. There they go, right into the hole. I misplaced my breast. <laughs> okay. So here it goes, the second prosthetic in the other side. Breast facing out, obviously. And now I'm going to put it on my body so you can see what a flat person looks like in a breast prosthetic. So I, I put on this bra very differently than if I were putting on a normal bra. Normally I would flip this upside down and spin it around and then pull it up in the front, but these are heavy and that doesn't work. I find them tumbling out when I do that. So flip them around to the back and adjust the hook and eye closure and pull them up like this. And as you can see with some adjusting and some shifting. If you didn't know any better, you would think, especially under clothing, that I was a breasted individual. From the front, from the side, here's my silhouette. Oh, I've got a, I've got a form peeking out here. I'm going to place that back inside. But the weight feels very similar. If you'll excuse the demonstration, the bounce <laughs> feels a lot like when I was a breasted person. So now I'm gonna put my top on and show you under my top what this looks like. You can see the form under clothing. And if you didn't know any better, you might think I was still a breasted individual. So I'm gonna take this off now. After sharing what I don't like about this. So again, this is my personal opinion. This is how I feel in my breast forms, but I love the weight. What I don't like is this gap in between the, the breast and the bra and my own chest. Obviously with breasts, they are attached to your body. So anytime they fill a bra with cups, uh, when you bend over, your breasts are simply going to hang naturally. But because this is a weighted form, perhaps, I don't know, maybe I have an ill fit, maybe I need to be refitted. But you can see this gap, this hang, this air space in between the product and my chest. I don't like that. <clears throat> I don't like how it looks. And I don't like to some extent how it feels. Also what I don't like is I have some dig here with the band, especially here. Some dig up here, some sensations of being itchy. Um, if I was in a normal bra, those sensations would all be red flags. They would signal that I need to go back in and be refitted, maybe choose a different style. But as a breast-free person, I'm not really sure what's normal. I'm still figuring that out. So uh, to me, I just find it annoying. These are not qualities that I want in a prosthetic because within 10 or 15 minutes, I'm highly aware that I'm wearing it. <laughs> I want it off, off, off. I can't claw it off my body soon enough. So might be the result of the product, might be a result of the bra, might be a result of a bad fitting. I just don't know, but it's not for me. So 
I'm flat all the time. And I love it. Okay, the next product that I'd like to talk about is something called a knitted knocker. And this is a product that is hand knit by volunteer knitter artisans in your area that have decided to formally reach out to survivors by providing a soft, virtually weightless, handcrafted. When you say handcrafted, a knitted product really doesn't get much more handcrafted than that. Each individual stitch of this has been lovingly knitted by a local knitter in a standardized uh, patterned format using very soft, very cool to the touch yarn. And inside there's some type of filling or stuffing and I, I am by no means a fabric craftswoman, so forgive my uh, lack of technical expertise, but it's some form of stuffing that I assume you'd find in a stuffed animal or another stuffed craft. With an adjustable pull, these can be filled more or less. When I selected my free product, I, I let them know that I wanted like a, a C cup. And these were given to me free of cost by my surgeon's office via knitted knockers. You can also requ request your free pair in the mail and they will be sent to you. That's how I got these. I love how these feel on my skin. First of all, or on my chest rather, the pressure. I love the pressure. Um, I'm not sure why, but ever since the surgery, any kind of pressure, medium uh, pressure around in this field, in my chest area, is tremendously comforting. Um, the product itself feels like a nice warm hug that you might get from a friend or family member. That's the best way I know how to describe it. It's like I have a loving hug where my breasts used to be. <laughs> um, also, on a practical basis, these forms fit very nicely in either a mastectomy bra, in these pockets like I showed you, or in a traditional bra. And again, the appearance under clothing is that you are probably a breasted person. But I just love the feel, I love the philosophy behind this organization, and um, free of cost, just like the breast forms. Um, I personally, I'm not yet comfortable wearing either the knitted knockers or the uh, breast form. And that's because I don't feel comfortable. When I say I don't feel comfortable, um, I don't feel comfortable physically or emotionally, quite frankly, being in a breast form or a prosthetic. Um, that's because, and I'll, I'll go into this in more detail in another video, but I, I am a flat individual. I, I do not I no longer feel like I am a breasted person, first of all. Um, second of all, and most importantly, is that I'm not comfortable. Physically speaking, practically speaking, I am not comfortable. I am uncomfortable when I wear these. I would love to find a more comfortable, better fitting bra in which to put the knitted knockers. The knitted knockers are me. I love the philosophy, I love the product, I love how they feel. Someday, soon, I would like to be able to wear these. Um, I personally want to use prosthetics on the basis of accessory. I want to be able to put them on and take them off um, at whim and decide day to day if I want to be a breasted person or a breast free person. Um, similar to how you might use a pair of glasses or jewelry or a pair of shoes to accessorize, to accentuate um, or add something to any one particular outfit or look. Um, I know that there are other survivors that wear their prostheses every day, flat survivors who wear prostheses for a more breasted look, and I think that's great. There are survivors with breast implants, that's great. And there are survivors like me who maybe wear prosthetics on an occasional basis or not at all, and that's also great. Um, the way I see it, it's all about personal comfort 
and identity. And this is a very, very personal uh, endeavor and a personal decision that each woman really must make on her own. So I, of course, goes without saying, I support all of that. But my goal today was to reach out to other survivors and other support people, friends and family members of survivors to help everyone through my story get better acquainted with some products that are available on the market for achieving a more breasted look when you have had a unilateral unilateral or bilateral mastectomy. Um, as always, I welcome your comments. Please feel free to reach out to me there. I'd love to hear from you. But until uh, then, take care of yourself and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.